my first advice would be treat the systems of the both policy making and policy implementation from the civil service onwards to the social partnership as the embedded systems which have pre resulted in the outcomes that we are facing today. Treat them with suspicion, treat them with the checks and balances. And for those checks and balances, you need an independent analysis, you need independent advice. Some of the politicians we are seeing arriving to go into the uh, polls today are that type of the politician. People who have both the capability from professional level, from their professional knowledge, but also have the integrity and also have the levels and degrees of independence that they bring forward. Those are the politicians who should be definitely drawn, regardless of their seniority within the party and regardless of their party affiliation, they should be drawn in the process of decision making, either through the dog, through the government or both. In addition to it, they should engage people who are standing outside of the system, who also have the capability, who also have been right in terms of calling the facts and have courage to call those facts. Because honesty is the first step in order to resolve that th uh, this crisis that we are facing. You need to have honesty in the approach to formulation of the policy first. The second one, you need to have guts because it's going to be very tough. Next three years are going to be very hard for any government for any policy maker and decision maker and they need guts, they need the direct advice, non-evasive based on facts and actionable as well.